Have you ever tried using only a keyboard to navigate a website? That is, no mouse, no trackpad. How was that experience for you? Were you able to achieve your goals? These are questions worth asking for every website. Keyboard navigation is a critical aspect of digital accessibility. Ensuring keyboard accessibility is not only going to benefit keyboard users, people with moderate or vision impairments, screen reader users, and people that use uncommon browsers, such as smart TV or game console browsers, can all benefit from this interaction. The good news is it's easy to test your keyboard navigation. All you need is a computer. The keys that you'll use to navigate include the tab key to navigate down the page through interactive elements and shift tab to navigate back up. You'll also use enter or return to activate buttons or links, the space bar to check or uncheck a checkbox or radio button, and the escape key to close models or drop down menus. Now that you know what the keys are, here's how you can start with keyboard testing. To begin, put away your mouse and resist the temptation of navigating with anything other than your keyboard. Walk through the top tasks on each page and take notes. You'll want to test the entire flow from start to the end. For example, if you have a form on your site, test both submitting the form successfully and with error to make sure every part of the experience is accessible to keyboard users. Remember, try hard not to use your mouse to get you out when you are trapped. Instead, take that moment to reflect and note down how you feel. Next, let's talk about three key things to look out for during your keyboard testing. First, all interactive elements such as links and buttons should have a clear focus state. By default, the keyboard focus is coded into all the common web browsers. Some designers may restyle the focus state to match the look and feel of the website. In this case, check if the focus state has sufficient contrast with the background. For example, Starbucks uses a dark green outline for focus states to match its branding. However, this highlight blends in with the green background when the Explore Their Story button is in focus. The bottom line is, Keyboard users should be able to tell clearly where they are on the page at all times. Second, all interactive elements should be reachable by keyboards. Tap through the website to see if you can get into various buttons, links, drop down menus, input controls, and dialog boxes. As you tap through the page, watch out for keyboard traps, which happen when users aren't able to navigate away from an element or area in focus using only the keyboard. For example, when the model dialog is triggered on Insomnia's website, the keyboard focus is stuck in a loop of a few buttons, the close button is not focusable, and there's no way to close the model by tapping or pressing the escape key on the keyboard. Last but not least, pay attention to the tap sequence. The default keyboard navigation order should be logical and intuitive, which generally follows the visual flow of the page, left to right, top to bottom. Because keyboard users access elements sequentially on the page, without a skip to the main content link, they'll have to tap through long lists of navigation links before reaching the main content, which can be tedious. For example, on IKEA's website, pressing the Skip to Main Content button allows users to bypass navigation and dive right into the content. Additionally, IKEA also offers Skip links for each film strip on the page, allowing users to parse content more efficiently. Accessibility is essential, but it doesn't have to be difficult. So join me on this No Mouse Challenge to test keyboard accessibility for your website and design your website with clear focus indicators, access to all interactive elements, and logical tab orders. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, inninggroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses 
that offer live hands-on UX training.